Hey everyone, Nubkex here, and welcome, not to the PTR, welcome to the live servers, where Zul'jin is out, the new hero. He is a ranged assassin. We're going to be taking him for a spin in today's game. I've already got a talent build worked out as well, which we're going to try out. And we'll go over, we'll take a bit of time at the end of the video as to look at his other talents, the other options, and to see what we think about him. So yeah, he is a ranged assassin. Uh, his Q is a ooh, actually quite a narrow skill shot. It's quite fast. This does some damage. It also hits the first two targets, marks them for eight seconds, and then marked enemies take 50% bonus damage for our next few basic attacks, which is pretty cool. Our W is a very unusual escape uh, skill shot, as you can see. In fact, if we move out of the way, you can see it stays in this sort of circular area, which is nice. We're going to grab this. I'll come back to that in a second, just in case there is a fight here. We've got a murky. That's always nice to see. Um, his E regeneration heals you for 25% of your max health over four seconds. So that's a thing. Wow, Alarak, he really, wa he really wants to hurt that. Let's see if we can hit this Alarak. Oh my God, we can. We are the best. Okay, we couldn't quite hit him, though. Uh, the most important thing, of course, about this hero... I see, I see you flanking over there, Varian! I see you flanking! We gotcha! We got... Okay, we don't gotcha anymore. Is this one. Berserker. Activate to increase your basic attack damage by 25%. Ow, that hurt. That hurt a lot. You know what, let's pop this regeneration thing. Okay, this is a regeneration. If we take damage, it stops. If we move, it stops. The only problem is you do get kited in quite a bit. Now, we should actually be quite a strong solo laner. So that's something that we could potentially try out. Poor old uh, Murky did go down. You know what, let's do the, what no one suspects. Let's do a gank down here. Okay, no, he's gone. All right. No, he's not. He's not gone. All right, we did some damage. We chased him off. We showed him who was boss, and we're going to come up here to this top thing. Should be pretty cool. I got you want axe. Every five uh, basic attacks against enemy hero is going to do some damage. Which should be pretty nice. Oh, hello, friend. What are you doing? Oh, we actually walked into that? Oh, we suck. We suck. We've got him pretty low, but maybe not low enough. For us to go in here. He knew He knew what was up. He knew what I was, I was doing. It's quite hard to actually get in on top of them. That's that's something to note. Ooh. Our teammates do have this under control, so we're just going to keep clearing this out. want to keep sort of vision on this Alarak buddy over here. And get, let the killing begin. It looks pretty cool. We're going to regenerate. He's going to try kill us. Oh, yeah, that hurt. All right. We're actually in a bit of a rough spot here. As you can see, we're getting bonus attack speed the lower our health goes, which is kind of nice. Um, no, thanks for the heal. We're actually just gonna stay here. <laughs> Aw. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad, man. We need to be careful of this, yeah. In fact, let's not, let's not have our trait on. Let's just do some regular basic attacks here. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I'm out. 22 seconds on this. I'm not feeling confident that we can actually stay and, and do this. We got, we got this. Sorry, sorry, he's got this. It's okay. We are losing the game overall, but that's fairly expected, seeing as we have a murky. Switch lanes. He obviously is not feeling comfortable against uh, this guy, I think. So we'll come down and we'll help him out. We'll have out the murky. We'll let him do stuff. So, uh, yeah, all right. This is kind of interesting. You want axe. Five basic attacks against a hero. We're stacking up more and more damage. It's definitely a, a difficult thing. Alarak is very good at solo laning as well, so it's kind of hard to get a good feel for it. Ugh. That's the problem. It's like getting in on top of him is one thing, but actually staying and being able to hurt him? He could just run away. We don't have any movement speed. We've got no gap closers. So we're kind of reliant on our teammates to lock things down, and he's just slowly, slowly whittling away at us, which is annoying. We're able to heal ourselves up, though, so that's good. Get him again with that. Uh, we're gonna grab this one. Not talk about why. At level four is left the killing. Actually, we don't need this. Oh crap, we tapped it already. Oh well. Oh well, we're gonna be super high health for this. 
Whenever we kill an enemy, we get attack speed. 6%! It stacks up to 30%, 15 seconds. And basic attacks is the duration, which is pretty cool. Oh my god, we're walking into all this shit. That slows him down. He's just walking away, though. He don't, he don't care. You need to be careful here. Hey, Varian. Hey, Varian friend. Oh, we missed that. Where are our friends coming? Our friends are coming. It's cool, everyone. The friends are on the way. Let's do this. Artanis is here as well. Murky is absolutely not here. We don't actually have a proper warrior, which is making this difficult. Strike focus her down. Good. Okay, good. Oh, we totally missed that, but it's okay. Got some nice uh, heals coming in from our uh, our Oriole there, keeping us nicely alive. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, that hurt. We're just getting more powerful, though. We're going to regenerate here. we got a barrier on us, but it's uh, not going to do too much. Oh my god, we're kind of churning out the damage. We're churning out the damage right now. That's pretty brutal. That worked pretty well. Oh yeah. Oh, that berserking. That's cool. That's cool. We're gonna grab guillotine here, which I don't think most people are gonna grab, but I wanna really wanna try it out. I think it looks cool. You can see the bonus damage we get. The more health we have, the less damage it does, which is really interesting. We're actually gonna pop our trait. We're gonna start doing damage to ourselves. Oh, we hit her, but it wasn't enough to kill her. We had too much health. It didn't work. But it's got a very short cooldown, as you can see. That's one of the things I noticed. Very short cooldown ability, which is always cool. Oh, we've been blinded. That's not good. That's not good news. Okay, the blind has worn off. Now we can maybe start doing things. Okay, never mind. Oh! Tazdingo! Oh shit. Oh shit, son. Oh, he missed. What a noob. I think we're still gonna die. He still got his Q. Okay, he missed. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay, I think we escape. Woo! Woo! Fancy footwork! Fancy footwork! Fancy footwork. We could throw out a guillotine for the laugh. Now we won't. But it would hit pretty hard right now. What's the range? The range is pretty long. It's a pretty long range in this. It's a pretty long range. So, 70 mana, 45 second cooldown. You can see the shape of it. We throw up a big axe, it hits them. And you can see this is the damage it's going to do. It's going to scale massively with how much health we have. Turning on our trait does not knock us off our horse. That's always good to know. Uh, yeah. Wow, okay. That, that, that feels like that was early. Oh, I missed. That was a pretty bad miss as well. Oh my god, I'm really bad at aiming that. Like, really bad at aiming that. Apologize to my teammates. Oh, that worked well. That worked well. That was a good guillotine. That got us a kill. Almost got us two kills. Murky is split pushing in the meantime. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna get move speed whenever we hit heroes with our Q. Now we haven't been able to aim the Q because I'm a big noob. But hopefully it will... <laughs> oh shit, son. Uh oh. Oh, I need to sidestep that. Realized it way too late. Realized it way too late. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this guy at the moment. My initial impressions are that he's, he's obviously pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Murky's gonna get more value out of this. These are just hitting forts. Murky's actually putting pressure on a keep. This is gonna be some damage in on the keep. That's really good. Getting a siege can't push in that much. I'm even pushing them off right now. Murky's even gone back and is gonna maybe do that. This is this is getting a lot of value. That's really, really strong, guys. That's really strong. Don't underestimate that. Nice, let's move to the bottom. There's a big wave here, actually. Let's clear out this wave. And then I'll come down here. Just letting my teammates know. Guys, I'm on the way. This is a, a difficult skill shot to hit. I'm actually hitting this better. It's hilarious when I was 
thinking about this game and reading up on his abilities, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble hitting this W, but this Q should be easy. Nuh uh, nuh uh, exact opposite. The exact opposite. Okay, myself and Li Ming are gonna clear this out apparently. I thought we were really gonna make our way to the bottom. We're gonna make our way now. We're coming. We're coming, boys. We're coming. There is an objective up. I was just pushing out the way. If I got greedy, I pushed an extra one. Pushing us that little bit closer to 16. Probably should have come up. That's not good. Where is the murky himself? There he is. Okay. Okay, rip. Is there anyone still alive? There is. There's one guy alive. I should hit him. Yeah. Alright, nicely done. Wow. Kicking ass. Their, their dude was not here. This oil is giving us a lot of heals as well. It's really keeping our health up and letting us spam this stuff as much as we want. We're going to grab this. Even more attack speed. That sounds pretty good to me. This is going to give us 40% more attack speed. I think... <laughs> Never mind. I was going to show you, but she healed us. So we can't. <laughs> You're too good at your job, Oriel. You're too good. Um, it's going to give us just 40%. It's gonna basically going to make our trait 40% better. And who doesn't want that? Sounds great. Okay. Let's run away. Sounds pretty good. This is giving us move speed whenever we hit our Q. I think I've already covered that. Let's hit this a bunch. Tear through it. Not bad. Oh, hello, friends. I missed that because I'm a noob. Ah, oh, sucks so much. Right, the guillotine landed. We probably could have saved ourselves. I was kind of focused on whether we could guillotine and stuff. And our teammates did kill everyone. They could actually just go core and win the game, but they're kind of hearthstone. And I'm actually fine with that. I'm not going to ping and let them know that they've got like a siege camp pushing core 25 seconds. Because I just, I'm kind of having fun and I want to enjoy this hero even more. We have finished our quest right now. Uh, level 1 quest, which is you want axe. So after attacking heroes 120 times, which I believe is 24. Is that right? 120 times. Uh, so five into that. Oh, maths is hard. 24, uh, yeah. So there we go. We finished this. It gives us 20% increased attack range, which I believe is the same as Rainer by default, which is pretty nice. So I, I, I'll talk more about the hero's design overall at the end. But uh, it's going to be sad now if we lose this game. <laughs> it's going to be sad if we lose. There's once again another big wave built up here for us to come farm. So let's go do that. Um, but needless to say, yeah, I, I feel like some of his talents might not be the best balance. That's kind of my impressions of it. That, I, I know we're having a lot of luck hitting that skill shot. It's just, it's just working for us. We're just getting it. It just clicks. We'll clear this out, then we can come and clear out these things. Not a big deal. Oh, hello, friends. This is not good. It's very not good. Oh, oh no, we missed. We do a lot of damage. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Did you see that? Just fucking exploded, man. Whoa. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Jeez. Let's pop regeneration as well. Let's mount up. Murky is split pushing and stuff. We're going to come kill this Zul'jin who doesn't know what he's doing. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. We didn't guide him enough. We almost got him. We almost got him. Hey, we killed the Zul'jin, so that's something. Murky is uh, winning the game for us. <laughs> this is pushing in as well. They are taking this. I don't know if they've realized that there's a Murky with catapults and his heroic on the core. He's going on to the keep now. He's having mercy on the core. His catapult is going to slowly do core damage for us, which is nice. Uh, and Snare, throw net forward, ruining the first enemy hit. But so we're going to grab and Snare. I'm going to show you, basically, I think this is overall probably the best build, I think. I'll explain why more at the end. Uh, but I have been very impressed. 89, nice. This is still on the core. This one isn't. It's going to die in a second. Oh, one final shot, 81% on the core. Like I said, we could have won the game earlier. But it's looking pretty good for us to win the game now. 
even still. Let's make a move towards this bottom half of the map. Group up with our teammates. The murky pick actually working pretty well. He's got bribe as well. <laughs> They're not enjoying playing against this murky, that's for sure. So in scenario, what's this? Okay, it's actually quite short range, but it's a fat skill shot, so it should be easy enough to land. This is going to help us with those solo Artanis kills. Solo Artanis kills are life. Man. Oh, you can't? Okay. Never mind. Good to know. Roots do not stop teleports. Good to know. That is hilarious. Hey, friend. Goddamn. We didn't quite kill her. That's not good. Uh-oh. We're actually going to heal ourselves up in this brush. And then we're going to come back in. And we're going to come back in. Actually, we're going to come this way. Oh, he is melting. He is melting. Wow, we melted through him. Can we hit this guy with a guillotine? Let's hit the, finish this guy off with a guillotine. How about that? Oh, we died? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, I didn't pay attention. I did not pay attention. <laughs> we went for the swag guillotine and we walked right into Varian like a big noob. They should still kill him. He's gone really far forwards. No, he's got heals. Uh, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill you. He's got his E up in like two seconds. You have no energy. Alright, Zarya's here. Maybe you'll be okay. Varian is there as well. Murky is just winning the game though in the meantime. We're gonna swing up north afterwards. That would have been so good if he was the last person alive. Uh, and Varian wasn't there and we finished him off with that long range guillotine. That would have been swag points. Damn it! God damn it! First time a uh, Zildjian, that's an excuse. Uh, if we'd had instant air as well, if we hadn't wasted trying to prevent this teleport trip. Um, okay, this is actually good, it's actually putting... He might have even died intentionally scouting that out, and he's now right beside Siege Camp. He doesn't care. He does not care. Sorry for the stiffles, everyone, as well. But yeah, I, I, I'll cover again, like I said, this Tom Pill at the end. But so far, so good. We're going to throw Berserking on right away. It just seems like you want this on all the time, pretty much. You know, it does very little damage to you, really, but it makes you hit 25% harder. Oh boy, that's not good. Heal yourself. Oh, you're so fucked. Don't worry, friends. I'm here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I need to queue more. I need to queue more. I didn't didn't realize how much more we could be queuing. I'm gonna push this out. Let's get some vision. And that's gonna give us this attack speed. We now have five bonus attack. We have a lot of bonus attack speed, basically, what I'm trying to say here. Ah. Yeah, that works. That, that definitely works. I can see that I'm in trouble. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh-oh. We threw the guillotine. Oh, it didn't work. We didn't quite activate the cooldown. Oh, you're dead. Didn't quite work. Damn it. Damn it, we got interrupted in the animation. It would have hit really hard as well. Oh well. <laughs> oh boy. What a game. What a game. What a game. Oh, Zilchen's here as well. You guys are definitely, definitely gonna die. They actually got the last few shots though. Is that a keep dead? No, not quite. It's a dead murky though. Yeah, you're super dead. You're super dead. Murky's still alive. They know exactly where your egg is now, my friend. Like, he's checking. He is checking. Oh, Oriel. Oh, I would not go that way. I would run the hell away. What if they come down and kill you? It's gonna be sad. He's just baiting them around. Hey! <laughs> the hunt for the murky egg. It's like, should we push our advantage? Should we take a boss? No, let's hunt for the murky egg. It's all good. It's all good. And that being said, I think we need to focus a bit more on our team fighting because we have not done very well in the last two team fights. We just died very early on. Uh, let's bring danger down here. Which is obviously where they are. Whole enemy team alive. They've all disappeared. I think there's a fair chance they're the boss, wouldn't you say? Oh shit, I take it all back. I was wrong. Li Ming, they're, they're right underneath you then. My friend. No, they're at the boss as well. Yeah, they were doing the boss too. Oriel got herself killed. I should have gone to the boss. Dang it. It's gonna be a dead Oriel. We're gonna try save her. I don't know if we can though. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe we can. Okay, we threw our net, but... 
That's not good. Okay, we can run away. The last keeper's dead. I feel like I could, I could probably be pushing this stuff a bit more if I kind of knew more about the hero's limits, you know? Alright, then it's really important that we hit our Q. We do a lot more damage when we hit our Q. A lot more damage when we hit that Q. Q, please. Okay, cool. Thank I'm fine, thank you, though. <laughs> the core is once again under assault. We've altered stuff. We're gonna heal up and then make our way down to an altar. It is, uh, we are down a few people, so we don't want to take any huge risks. They have, they're on the bottom one. Li Ming is going in solo. YOLO solo, Li Ming. Oh, I would not, I would not do that. Actually, now I would. Zarya is arriving. I actually would push in there. That would be shots on core. Murky's keeping them busy like a boss. They are rotating around. We definitely need to be careful right here. This could go badly for us if we're not paying attention. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, we killed him, but we died. I think we're gonna lose the game. I think we're gonna lose the game. Oh, he's almost dead. Murky's moving in. Holy shit, with the fly! Oh shit! Whoa, whoa! Flying our fluffy jester. We're like flying jester. That was so epic. That might actually win us the game right there. Holy shit! I thought we'd lost it. Thought all keeps are down. We're not gonna get this, but they got it. All right, so our team fighting really fell apart in the latter half of that game. We did not do a great job. We got some guillotine swag though, so that was fun. Yeah, interesting now. We didn't have a proper warrior, which definitely made it a little bit difficult to actually position and do some damage. They were diving is pretty hard. But let's take it to the stats and stuff and see how we did. Did we make the MP? No, oh, yeah. Oh, we got Painbringer, so that's good. But yeah, first impressions, Lil Jin, he's a lot of fun. He is a lot of fun. You definitely need to aim your Q. <laughs> Actually, aim that Q. I was missing way too many of those. Uh, level 3, that's... A, oh, hello. Level 4. Lovely. Uh, so we did 73,000, which is by far the most damage of the game. So that's pretty good, I guess. Uh, we died a lot, though. Um, so the talent build I went for was you want Axe. Every 5 basic attacks against heroes, get, making us do more damage and giving us more range. So I think this would work really, really well. Um... It just, it just strikes me as a really powerful one. Uh, a level one, I'll talk about the other options at level one, because I think there's some interesting choices there. Um, this will obviously function a bit better in a normal composition, <clears throat> where you can actually exploit the range a bit more. Like, in this game, they were just kind of running on top of us. It was very brawly and quick matchy, right? Because we, we only had a Zarya, and a, we had a Murky as well. We didn't have a, like, a real solid team composition in terms of team fighting. Whereas in more normal compositions, I think that range will actually be more you might feel it a little bit more. And I just figured that this, the basic attack damage would scale really well with your trait. And the fact that you seem to be pretty focused on those basic attacks. Let the killing begin strikes me as really strong at level four, like really, really strong. Whenever you kill an enemy, your attack speed increases by 6%, up to 30%, and it lasts 15 seconds, and basic attacks refresh the duration. Hero takedowns instantly grant 30% attack speed. So you are, realistically, you are gonna have 30% that 30% bonus attack speed for most fights thanks to this talent. That's so powerful. It's insanely good. Insanely, insanely good. Next up we have Vicious Assault, uh, which increases the number of bonus damage. Uh, basic attack hits from Krivus to 6. So that's our Q. We land the Q on someone. Remember, that's giving us 50% bonus damage for three basic attacks. Um, this increases that to 6. So we get 6 50% bonus damage basic attacks on the target. And each one also reduces the cooldown of the Q, which means that we're going to get Qs off much more quickly, which means even more Q bonus damage. This just seems like an amazingly strong talent. And then at level 13, Isol Jin also seems pretty damn strong. So if you hit an enemy with your Q, it increases your move speed by 25% for two seconds. Obviously, it's important that you do hit your Q. I think I didn't do these talents justice because I was missing it a lot. But they do seem to me to probably be the best on both tiers. And then the fact that they synergize so well together also makes them really, really good. I picked up Guillotine here. Yeah, I actually went Guillotine too. Uh, guillotine at level 10. I think it's going to be the better heroic overall. In this game, actually, Testingo might have worked pretty well. It probably would have maybe even worked a bit better because they were quite focused on 
they had a lot of dive, you know? Like, they had a lot of melee heroes that were jumping on top of us. We didn't have a lot of ways to stop that. Um, so, yeah, that might have worked a bit better. But Guillotine is pretty cool, or Guillotine, however it's called. Um, it does a lot of damage when you're on low health. Basically, my theory is that Testingo, yeah, it keeps you alive for four seconds. But you could be CC'd, or you might not be... It could just be a little bit difficult. I feel like as a ranged damage dealer, you're often going to be in position to attack kind of well anyway. I don't know if... I, when I heard he was, when I thought he was a melee assassin, I thought Testingo was really good. But now that he's ranged, and considering he can be a really, really long ranged ranged assassin, I'm not sure that Testingo is super necessary. Whereas Guill uh, Guillotine or Guillotine uh, seems like it's going to do a lot of damage pretty safely. And again, I think this... I think Testingo would have worked pretty well in this game, considering our comp actually, and how much they could dive us, but I think in most games, Guillotine's gonna be better. I've still Jin seems really nice, bit more move speed, which just helps you get on top of people. You can be kited pretty easily, the W is kind of hard to hit, and it does a very small slow. So this seems like a really nice way to just get you, get you into combat a little bit more. Ferocity at 16 also seems like it's probably the best. Just 40% more attack speed, bonus from Berserker, that just seems so, so strong. Your trade is 40% more effective. Yeah, I, I don't know, that seems really, really good to me. I'll show you the other options here as well. And then in Snare, level 20, uh, we didn't make huge use of it, or very good use of it at all in this game. But it seems really good. I'm not sure about the level 20s. They're all relatively underwhelming, but this seems really strong for picks. And uh, yeah, I think it should be pretty nice. Anyway, uh, other options, if you want to see them. Actually, like here are his... I'm sure you can see this yourself, but here is Skin Tints. And Master Skin. And Emberlord Skin. There you go. Um, so at level 1, I think you've got a couple, a couple of things here. Let's quickly point out. Oh, this is interesting, right? When you're half health, ability power increases by 25%, which means extra big guillotines. So I was kind of interested by that, but apart from that, it seems kind of weak. Whereas you want Dax seems pretty nice. And 24 bonus damage. That's not bad, right? That's not bad. Or maybe it's a bit more than that, um, because we're getting 1.5 thing. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, a bone slicer could be pretty good as well. Actually, uh, I'm very interested to try out a few Q, uh, a full Q build. This gives you nice wave clear. Very nice wave clear. It makes your Q hit more powerfully. Obviously going to combo really well with Vicious Assault. Um, and then, you know, I still Jin does a similar thing. So, a very nice Q build is there. Uh, level 4. Headhunter is a really unique talent here. Getting a takedown on all unique enemy heroes. So as long as every enemy hero dies and you're involved with it, you get this. And you can activate to reveal all enemy heroes for four seconds. Very map dependent. I'd say it's pretty good on like Towers of Doom or Warhead Junction. Though, again, I feel like the maps where it could be really good on are also the maps where it might be kind of difficult to get a takedown on every enemy hero. But that's kind of an interesting talent. Let the killing begin. Seems unbelievably good, though. The thing that really uh, strikes me is about this is that they made it a 6% stack instead of a 5% stack, which seems, it just seems to me like they said, huh, well, 5% just seems the obvious place to start with a stack. And they said, that's not strong enough compared to these other talents. We need to make it 6% per stack, which is kind of weird. Um, but Vala is crying right now because this is so much better than Hatred. It lasts so much longer and it's easier to stack up in a way. Uh, yeah, poor Vala. Uh, Trolls Bread then. Uh, Trolls Bled? Regeneration heals almost double the amount, so it makes your E way more effective. Um, so all of these level 4 talents actually seem really good. Uh, they all seem really good, uh, but I feel like Let the Killing Begin just seems the best one by far. This one's good for solo laning, uh, and he is supposed to be a good solo laner, so that's one thing to note. Level 7 then, I think Vicious Assault is just the best. Uh, you have to hit people at the apex of the Twin Blades. That seems, or Twin Cleave Axis, that seems pretty terrible. It seems really hard to do, and it, it's just bad damage. This is like a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. This is so good. So much more damage through your Q. Uh, and then Recklessness, when you're below half health, your base attack damage increase. That's pretty good as well. The thing is, right, this is, whenever you hit someone with your Q, the, the bonus damage from the Q is a 50% attack damage bonus. I think if you hit a Q on someone with this talent, and you land all your basic attacks on them, like, by default, the Q is... It's an 8-second cooldown, right? Basic attacks against the heroes are going to reduce the cooldown by... Like, you are going to be able to maintain a permanent Q on someone while you're firing attacks at them. And that is really strong. Um, instead of getting, you know... 
three bonus attacks every eight seconds, you're going to be getting just constant attacks, bonus attacks, which is a lot more. It's a lot more. And that's 50% bonus in each of those attacks. So with recklessness, you're only getting 25% bonus on your attacks. Obviously, it'll give you more burst during the initial three basic attacks that are buffed up with recklessness um, because they're going to be 25% bonus. But once those bonus... Once you've exhausted your Grievous Throw with Recklessness, then you're going to be weaker than you would be with Vicious Assault. And this works from max HP as well. So I feel like this is probably better. Anyway, uh, I've already talked about the Heroics. They both seem good. I feel like Guillotine is going to be more consistently good, though. Isil Jin seems probably the best. You've got Remove Fruits and Slows, which is a bit meh. But maybe. It depends. Maybe. Oh, thank you, Dave. Thanks, dude. We also need to reply to Trina Bear as well. We'll do that at some stage. God dang it, Trina Bear. Distracting me. Um, regeneration no longer has to be channeled, so you can like run around and attack while you're regenerating with your E, but um, if you take damage, it still cancels it. So, I don't know, I feel like Ives Lichian will probably be the most useful overall. And that also gives you, because that's the most useful, and because this one's probably the most useful, it gives you a real benefit, a real Im impetus to pick up this as well, doesn't it? It's a funny way it's designed. Uh, we can have twin cleave axes, cycle twice, and hit enemies in each revolution. But the cooldowns increased by four seconds. I don't know why they made the cooldown increased. I don't know, would it have been OP otherwise? It doesn't seem so. It's a, it's a difficult skill shot. I don't know. Um, or then increase the slow amount of each twin axe. That seems also decent. But this one just seems better. The 40% bonus attack speed for Berserker. Again, it scales up depending on how much damage you've taken. I don't know, this just seems the best. Just That's so much more damage, it just seems better. Um, and then level 20. Half the damage you do during Testingo heals you. And you can do a lot of damage, to be fair. that That's a pretty cool talent. Uh, Buzzsaw is pretty cool as well. When, like, you, say you throw Guillotine here, like, you're here, you throw Guillotine here or Guillotine here, it's going to go foo in a big line and do half, I think it's normally half the damage. It says 0%. Maybe, oh, does it scale off your... Maybe it scales based on your trait. I'm not sure, actually. Should have maybe tested that one out. It would have been a bit fancier. Um, but that could be pretty good as well. That could be pretty good. Or then you've got Ensnare. Throw a net forward, rooting the first enemy hit. Which seems kind of boring, but could be very strong for picks and stuff like that. Overall, like, they're they're decent, but not the... Definitely not the, the, the most powerful level 20s I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, that is... Uh, this guy, that's Zildjian, Range Assassin. He seems like a lot of fun. Very exciting to see a Range Assassin that can solo lane. We obviously have Falstad who can do the same sort of thing. Um, which is, you know, it's pretty cool, but they're all by XP A to Z. No, they're A to Falstad does the same thing, right? But Falstad's got pretty low damage, right? This guy does a lot. He has a lot more damage than Falstad. So you give up the utility of the, the global presence, the safety of Falstad, and then Mighty Gust and the control it brings. With Zul'jin, you get like a similar sort of solo laning type thing, but no global, but a lot more damage. So that's an interesting sort of choice and trade-off. Kind of similar to how Zagara. I feel like Zagara left a bit of a hole as this like the ranged uh sustainy lane bully solo laner i think Suljin might fill that in i think that's kind of interesting uh there you go guys that is him he's cool give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and check back we're gonna take a look at who else has been changed arthas and um a new barak of course has been changed where are they i'm getting so confused with these names there's there's arthas that, that's not arthas this is arthas come take a look at arthas we're gonna take a look at a new barak uh maybe even Greymane who got some armor We'll take a look at a bunch of these heroes. This is going to be a bit of fun. Just jumping into Quick Batch. So do stay tuned for that. Subscribe for more if you want to see more. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.